recent days, the number of petrol cars are increasing in the road. Due to that, the amount of petrol also decreasing in the road. Hmm. Not only that, the petrol car pollution is one of the major cause of global warming. So, hmm, what will be the perfect solution for this? So, let's see. In 1955, businessman William G. Cobb launched the world's first solar-powered car with a length of 38. The time passed by. The growth of solar cars was tremendous due to technology improvement. These are the recent day solar cars in this world. So, we have seen how these cars are invented and developed. But, hmm. How these cars are really work? Let's see. Solar panel on top of the car contains solar air that uses photovoltaic cells, PV cells to convert sunlight directly into electricity. These PV cells are made of semiconductor materials such as silicon, alloys of indium, gallium and nitrogen. Crystalline silicon is the most common material used in solar panel. When sunlight strikes at PV cells, they excite electrons and allow them to flow, creating an electrical current. The current passes through to big power tracker from there to battery pack. The battery pack in a typical solar car is efficient to allow the car to go 400 km without sun at night and allow the car to continuously travel at speed of 97 km per hour. From the battery pack, electricity passes through the Motor controller. Motor controller controls the electricity accordingly and electricity passed to the motor of the car. The motors used in solar cars typically generate about 2 or 3 horsepower, yet experimental light solar cars may attain the same speed as a normal petrol car until 160 km per hour. So now, come let's see the advantages of solar cars. 